What is up, my good friends? It is your old pal, Closet Gamer, back again for some more Age of Engineering, and welcome to episode 50 of the Age of Engineering series. That is right. Larry is having a little celebratory swim, and I am admiring my beautiful space rocket. Um, and I'm about to break it, actually, because today, my friends, uh, we are going to go into space once again, and we are going to build an awesome space station in space. Can you believe that? I think I'm going to have a fit. But first of all, uh, what we need to do, we need to uh, build some bits and pieces to get our space station built up. So today we are going to get a space station assembler, um, a couple of satellite bays, uh, a planet ID chip and a rocket monitoring station, I think. Um, and then we're going to put our satellite on this thing here. Uh, and then we're going to package it up, we're going to put it on a rocket and we're going to send it off to space. And then we're going to build another rocket and then we're going to chase after it and land on it. And then we'll have our satellite in space. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But first of all, what I need to do is I need to disassemble uh, this guy. Let me get rid of this. There we go, disassemble. Lovely. Now I can take this apart, smash this to a million bits with MC Hammer. There we go. Lovely. Oh, I've broken my, I've broken my launch pad, but never mind, I can put that back. Uh, let's put these back on there. One, two, three. Perfect. Right, uh, just my seat. Uh, and then we can go downstairs and think about building this thing. Right, first of all, uh, we want to take our rocket assembly machine with us, I think. Let's take that. Um, something we have to do first, actually, is to process our dilithium that we got from uh, the moon. That's right, so last episode we went to the moon, didn't we? And I've been busy in between episodes, and I'll show you that in a minute. I've built another arc furnace over there. But first of all, let's get some dilithium, because I want to chuck this stuff... In fact, I want to chuck as much as it as we have, and I think, yeah, we're definitely going to need to go back to the moon fairly soon, actually. Let me up here. Let's chuck this into there. That will start processing. Beautiful. I'll put those few bits that we just caught. Right, that will process. Lovely. That's going to give us dilithium dust. Now, I've built another arc furnace. I've got this one over here. Uh, and this one over here is doing uh, more things than it was before. Um, I've put in some of the Ender IO alloys into here. Um, and I'll tell you for why. I'll tell you for why. Look at this. If I want to do some solarium, um, and you can see that I've been mucking about with it, um, and I want to go maybe 20 solarium. Now, how long did it take before in the old Ender IO alloy, alloy smelters? Quite a long time, I believe. But this guy, I've got it set up so that it all distributes uh, into the different sections as well. I've got some filters set up um, over here, like this, see, perfect. And these are counting filters as well. So if I decided I wanted to build like 300 solarium, it might put like three stacks of uh, soul sand in there and block the other one off. Uh, you don't want that to happen because that's going to stop the entire process. So I've got these counting item filters in here. That's pretty good. So uh, let's have a quick look actually at all of the recipes that are being used for that. So these are the ones that are in the arc furnace. Uh, so we've got energetic alloys in there, dark steel in there, uh, normal steel in there, solarium and electrical steel. They can all be cooked in the arc furnace and it does it really, really fast as well. Um, this is all, by the way, in reaction um, to the amount of time that I had to wait for my solar panels. It's really bugging me about the Ender IO smelter is being so slow. I know it's going to uh, trip me up in uh, later episodes. So I decided to set this up and hopefully that will ease the pain a little bit. These are the only ones that can't be um, made in the arc furnace. So uh, bronze, uh, that can be made in the arc furnace actually, but it needs dust. Um, it, I can't do it from ingots, so I've got that in the uh, Ender IO. Uh, smelters. Uh, pulsating iron can't be done and vibrant alloy can't be done. However, if we go upstairs and have a quick look, if I can get up here. Uh, next one up, there we go. Right, so I've set up these lines of machines here and I've got, um, ba going back to my um, going back to my Emmy controller, I've got some Emmy smart cable um, and I've got P2P tunnels linking these guys together. I've got three separate ones, and these are only using 10 or 32 at the moment, um, so there's plenty of room for expansion. I'm thinking long lines of machines eventually, uh, but I've got five uh, Ender IO sm alloy smelters purely dedicated to smelting uh, these alloys. Um, it does a half decent job, I would say, of distributing them evenly across. Um, if I choose, um, if I pick some alloys to smelt, it will maybe put them in three of the five, which is better than none, isn't it? It's 
it's better than none. And what it means as well is I can pick maybe some of these to be uh, created and some of these to be created, and it will split it uh, amongst the five um, alloy smelters. So that's that's pretty good. I think that works okay. Um, I've got these dedicated to just uh, normal furnacing duties. Um, so I've got two um, sag mills on the end as well that are... Uh, for crunching up stuff so we're going to need lots of copper powder and lots of gold powder I think looking at some of the um, advanced rocketry recipes so that is pretty good um, I think that's going to sort us out for a little while anyway um, they're being powered by power cell um, I've got my silicon automated now as well into these centrifuges that was a bit of a pain in the ass because I wanted to distribute using round robin into those two didn't seem to want to work very well so I've had to do some trickery um, with some let's have a look with some conduits and stuff um, it's not too much trickery it's just um, using a, a chest as an interim stage and then distributing these guys I've got two industrial electrolyzers now so one is dedicated to the production of bauxite the other one is dedicated to the production of uh, ruby dust or rather I should say production of chrome and production of titanium um, and then I've got an extractor here that is taking the uh, cells, when they get turned into uh, compressed air cells, taking those, extracting those, and feeding those back in. And so far, so far it's pretty good. Um, so far it's not too bad. It's sort of crunching its way um, through our resources. And if we look at the amount of chrome that we've got, um, we are not doing too bad, I think. If we uh, go to this one, 509 chrome. And how much tit have we got? How much tit? 50 tit. Not bad, not bad on the old tit. Um, and then if we go back downstairs, um, so I said that before that I built an additional arc furnace. Now this one, this is dedicated purely to having chrome dust and titanium dust always coming into it and aluminium dust that you get from uh, crushing up the bauxite as well. Um, so at all times it is getting distributed. My um, my code or my uh, my program, it distributes fairly well, but sometimes it puts two at a time. That's because when it's counting through, it's... Um, it's landing on one that's already got one when it gets to like it just counts up to 12 and when it gets to maybe four and one's already in there it'll just put it there so uh, it's okay I might have to do some little tweaks to it but um, I mean it's better than just dumping a whole stack of 64 in there so not too bad and I enchanted these as well you can see that they're really lasting a really long time actually it's not too bad and you can you can enchant a whole stack at once with one book which is pretty good um, right so enough waffle from me enough waffle from me completely actually let's grab these advanced circuits and let's grab these silicon wafers as well because we're going to need those and let's grab um let's check what the recipe was for these again recipe for these uh was redstone and gold maybe we can make some more of these because we're going to need these today is this the input hatch where's the input hatch this is the input hatch right give us a block of redstone please and also some gold. Uh, let's give us, give me maybe four redstone and then another four gold. Uh, gold, 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 there you are. Um, I left my void miners running all night as well. Um, well, for a couple of days actually. And it's got us tons and tons of resources. Right, let's put four of those in there. That will make us um, the advanced circuit plates that we need and then we can cut them up in our cutter because the machines that we're going to make today need advanced circuits and these uh, this machine is pretty damn slow um, so we'll get that going before we look at all the things that we need to make today okay so as I mentioned before uh, we're going to make a space station assembler uh, we're going to need a space station ID chip uh, we're going to need a, a satellite bay and we're going to need um, what we're we going to need we're going to need uh, rocket monitoring station and also a linker as well um, so that's plenty to be getting on with um, this uh, takes another rocket assembly machine and we're going to need the one that we've got so we're going to have to build another one of these um, so let's see where we're doing in, in terms of that um, I don't know have I got titanium gears in my system yes I have right so let's quickly knock up like four of those because uh, we're going to need those as well um, and then I need iridium alloy gears as well. So we need to teach our system. Do we need to teach our system how to do this, or do we just need to get some? Um, let's get some iridium. And I have been leaving my molecular transformer running, although it's not doing a great job. I must admit, mind you, I don't, there might even be some in there actually. Let's go and put these in the old compressor um, because let's take 
like four of those in there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these go in our new arc furnace, um, along with, uh, what was it? Uh, some titanium as well. So let's grab four titanium from in here. Um, let's type in tit once more and take four titanium from there. And then let's get our iridium ingots that are, should be back in the system by now, shouldn't they? Iridium ingots. There's three in there. Did I only put three in there? Hmm. Oh, there's four there now. Why did it say three? Maybe it was in the process of doing them. Right, and these are going to take a little while as well. So let's dump those in there. That should fire up and start working, albeit very, very slowly. Let's go and get these from here. Is this the output? No, this is the output. This is the input. Let's chuck those into our cutting machine, and then that will give us... Uh, should give us like 16 uh, advanced circuits yeah 16 advanced circuits which hopefully should do us a little while i'm i'm not sure i know these recipes maybe take uh, three or four of these things um but future recipes will probably take a lot more of these things i think so there's enough enough to get us by and we'll let those process that's not a problem um one thing we do need to do actually is we need to teach our system how to make titanium iridium alloy gears Yes, we've got dilithium, we've got the advanced circuit. We need to make this. Um, let's have a look at the old uh, circuits and make three of those whilst we wait. There we go. And by the way, I hope you're having a lovely Christmas break. I know I am. Uh, having lots of fun, lots of drink, and uh, doing lots of recording as well, getting lots of recording done and out of the way. Hopefully, recording you know a few episodes in advance. I don't like to get too far in advance though. Um, otherwise, um, people rage at me because. The thing is, uh, people like to give me loads of advice, and it's really good to get advice, and I love it. And the thing is, if I like, record too far in advance, then I come unstuck because uh, all of the advice sort of looks like it's been ignored. And I assure you it's not been ignored, it's just that maybe I've recorded maybe one or two episodes in advance and uh, gotten a little bit ahead. Right, okay, so the only thing we're waiting for is these titanium iridium alloy gears. Now, maybe we can make um, the, uh, what is this, satellite bay? I know we need two of these. Uh, and what are we missing for that satellite bay? Titanium rods. So, uh, we've got titanium rods in our system, haven't we? Titanium rods, do we have these? Tit, tit rods. Um, maybe we need eight of those, I think. Let's get get those going. Let's see if we've got any of these done yet. How are we doing? Not even one. Jesus Christ, this thing is slow. Holy crap. Right, those titanium rods look like they're on their way out. Um, so that's pretty good. Now we should be able to make um, a satellite bay, hopefully, anyway. Uh, what do you say, satellite bay? You still say that we're short of these. One minute. Steel rods. So let's grab two of those. And then let's say... Two satellite bays. Excellent. Okay. And then what about this? Um, we need this space station ID chip. So this is going to identify our space station um, and allow us to uh, fly to it. So we're going to need one of these. And we're probably going to need two of these linkers as well. So one for me and one for the recipe. And then this guy. Perfect. Okay. Space station ID chip. Very important. These two things are very important. Um, now, the only thing that we need to do next is the uh, rocket monitoring station, um, which is copper rods, optical sensor. Let's grab one of those. And then, can I do this now? I've got some copper rods, but not many. Lathe? Don't tell me I need to make a lathe. I'm not in the mood for making a lathe today. What do you say, copper rod? Have I got... Oh yeah, I've got some of these. I've got this built in. So hopefully that will be okay. Should be okay. And then small battery, we've got that recipe. So I'm quite glad that I automated all this stuff, actually. Otherwise, we'd be sitting around doing loads and loads of manual crafting. Um, and I really wasn't up for that today. So it's just um, the machine structure that we need. Again, more machine structures. More than I was expecting. That is for sure. And in addition to that, um, we also need to build... Um, an additional rocket so we need another four liquid fuel engines because we're going to send one of these rockets up um, and we're going to have to sort of chase it in one so i need another six of these guys hopefully i've got enough stuff i've got enough stuff two more 
one more lovely okay um, so we don't need a seat we don't need a guidance computer we just need uh, the two engines and two fuel tanks and the satellite bay and the linker and I think we're good to go right now the only thing that we're waiting for now is these guys I've only got one one set is done one set's done another one's almost on the way right okay so um, why don't we have a look at um, some other things whilst we're waiting so I want to have a look at um, a teleport system from RF tools so within RF tools there is a really nifty teleport system but it's quite a complex recipe um, I want to get a charge porter I want to get and I want to get the advanced version of the charge porter so that's okay we just done that um, and then I need to get a matter transmitter and a matter receiver and I'm gonna get a matter receiver on every single planet that we visit so we can just teleport back there um, in order to make these work I need this thing called a dialing device that will allow us to uh, dial into these receivers and teleport to them uh, by standing on the matter transmitter so I need all three of these then I need one of these yellow ones for every single planet that we want to visit now um, this is not too bad in itself um, however Ender resonators uh, require all of this stuff. So I might go upstairs now, um, whilst we're waiting for that, and automate my slice and splice to make an ender resonator. And this is, yeah, that's fine. Ender resonator. And then what about the rest of these bits and pieces? So telepad block requires travel anchors. That's okay. That's not too bad. What's, what about this? Advanced machine casing. Frequency transmitter, again, not too bad. Just really, really long, lengthy recipes, machine frames, we can get those. Uh, Dew of the Void is a bit of a problem, although I think we're probably okay for that. Right, okay, so I'm going to go off and automate all of this stuff. Let's quickly check whether these are... Have we got four of these? Right, good. Four of those, that is fine. Now, let's go back to here, and let's say, if I give you... I'll give you four of those, and then... So thank you for uh, Sakumi who told me that I can just drop these onto there and that will run uh, perfectly fine. So I was frigging around for ages um, with these things, trying to get these uh, things off to pipe stuff into these guys and you can just drop it straight on there. Um, so cheers for that. You just saved me loads and loads of pissing about. So let's grab this back from there and then let's teach our system how to make uh, these titanium uh, what are these called? Titanium Iridium Alloy Gears? Lovely. Right, okay. Now, um, so I was saying that I'm going to go and set up some automation upstairs, um, Slice and Splice, and many other things that I'm going to need um, whilst we wait for our Iridium to go. Um, so I will be back in a sec and then I'll run you through my automation that I've done and then we will launch our satellite into space. So we are back my friends and I've set up lots and lots of automation. Look at all this stuff going. Um, so I've got my matter receiver fully automated I think. And I've got Drew of the Void fully automated. Basically I tore apart half my base. Um, so I've piped up all of my XP from downstairs. My nutrient distillation from downstairs. If we go downstairs we can have a look. Um, remember those two big tanks that I set up a couple of episodes ago? I'm getting mobbed by skeletons. Uh, remember those two big tanks that I set up a couple of episodes ago? They are now piping nutrient distillation and XP all the way upstairs. I'm getting shot at by a skeleton. Piss off, I'm trying to do an episode here, Sunny Jim. Get out of it. Go away. So as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, um, all of our XP is getting piped upstairs. That's not going anywhere. That was going to my um, XP obelisk. Um, but the long and short of it is, is that we have automated matter receivers. That is right, it's a very long recipe very complicated recipe and I looked at it and I thought I can make this but I'm gonna to have to make quite a few of these probably one for each planet that we go to I think it's done is it done it's done so we should now have two matter receivers in stock let's have a look yes we do lovely um, and I've built a man matter transmitter as well the only thing that I need to build in addition to all this is a dialing device so let's have a look at a dialing device shall we and quickly make one of those Dining device. I want to automate these as well, ender resonators. Um, so we need a couple of octodeck pastas, no problem. Let's make two of those. Bosch. And then we should be able to make this dialing device, the ender I one anyway, one of those. And then we should be able to make this nice dialing device. Right, okay, so let's get this set up somewhere, shall we? 
Um, so we've got some power like here, I think. So this is a cable facade. Facade, facade, facade. Uh, let's put our dialing device like there, shall we? Um, and then we can get some um, conduit and we can go like there. And that should be getting power. Excellent, that's getting power. Um, now, what about where are we going to put these? Uh, like the receiver um, needs power and the transmitter needs power. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put one there for the moment and then I'm going to put the other one right there. Like that. Now I should be able to give these names. So if I call this home, or if I actually I'll call this the closet. There we go. That's going to be the closet. And then that is going to be our dialing device. Um, call that one closet exit. Nice. Now I should be able to um, dial from this one to this one. And then I should be able to teleport across. Nice. So now if I get my charge porter, I should be able to link it to this. There we go. Now I should be able to run over here and go. Yes. Fantastic. And I'll move this somewhere nicer. I'll move this somewhere nicer later. Um, but let's let's interrupt that. Uh, and just do dial once. And then it should switch off after I've gone into it. Excellent. Okay. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to grab our... What the... F I need to get this situation sorted out. I need like a, an aversion obelisk or something. Get out of town. A skeleton spawn all over the place. I did have it on peaceful mode, but it stopped me from being able to spawn mobs uh, for my farm. Um, I don't really like peaceful mode. I put it on there because it was getting quite annoying to have all these mobs crawling all over me at all times. Right, anyway, so space station assembler. Are we good to go? No, we just need one more... Um, one more titanium meridian gear, and then we should be good to go. We should hear that spark up outside behind us. There we go. Now, what do you say? You say yes. Right, space station assembler then. Let's go-go upstairs. Let's get over this way. Right, so uh, space station assembler can go there. Lovely. And then what we need to do is we need to put in um, our... No, we need to put in our space station ID chip into there. We need to put one of the satellite bays into there, I believe. And then we can build something on here. So I'm just going to build, um, let's see what we've got in stock in terms of materials, because I don't want to, I don't want to build it out of junk. I want to build it out of something snazzy looking. So maybe some black glass. Have we got any black glass? Uh, what have we got here? Black stained glass? That'll do, won't it? That'll do for a little bit of a base. Um, so let's go. Let's build a little uh, five by five platform on here. Uh, and then what we do is we package it up into um, the satellite bay. Like that. That should work, I think. So if we go scan, and it'll come back. And then if we say build, then we end up with these two things. So a space station ID chip and a space station container. Nice. Um, so these two things are very, very important. I need to keep this one with me. That's going to go in my rocket. That's my destination. And then this one gets loaded into the cargo bay of the uh, rocket that we're going to build right now. Um, so I need to get rid of uh, this one. Where's my pick? There we go. Let's get rid of this guy. Thank you. Um, and then we can put this one back down there there we go that can go there rocket assembly machine nice then we need our uh, rocket monitoring station that's going to go there then we need to use our linker to link that one uh, holding down shift to that one link successful see perfect now if we get our two engines from up here then we can put one there one there and then we just need the fuel tanks times uh, how many was it it was three each side wasn't it and then another three this side there we go now uh, this satellite bay goes in the middle there then we can put our space station in there nice then that I think should be good to go if we get some fuel now, have I got any fuel on me not got any fuel, but I've left this running for quite some time. There we go, right, loads of fuel in there, that's good. 
Now, if I've switched uh, particle effects on because I realised last time it didn't actually do it. So um, we should be able to build this now if we scan it. Screen goes white. I love the glitch. It's great. Um, right, weight 9 newtons, thrust 20 newtons. Clear for liftoff. Build. Excellent. This should be... Yeah. Then we just need to give it some fuel. A couple of those in there. Now this should say we've got full fuel. Are we ready for launching? I think we are. Let's go. There it goes. Whoa. Excellent. Look at the guy go. So he's going to go up to space. He's going to get into orbit. Uh, and then he's going to unpack our space station for us. And we lose the rocket, unfortunately. But we've got enough bits uh, in our inventory to build us our rocket back again. Um, we need our seat. Have we got our seat? Yes, we've got our seat. So let's get this guy built up. Um, apologies if you can't see. I can't see either. Um, there we go, though. That's fine. Uh, right. One there, I think. One there. I've put him in the wrong place. <laughs> I can't see shit. Can't see shit, Captain. There. That's it. And then... Right, I'll wait for this to clear a little bit because I can't see what I'm doing. Crikey, look at this effect. Should have switched particles off. Right, it's disappearing now. That's good. Right. Three of those each side. There we go. And then we need our guidance computer in there. Like that. Then we need our seat on the top. So let's jump up on here. Uh, jump, shift, click. There we go. Nice. Uh, so that's that done. We need to put our station ID chip in there as well. Then we need to uh, get a couple more things. So I'm going to get myself prepared and I'll be back in a sec. Right, so last thing that we need, I'm just going to steal um, this link card for a minute. There's a witch. Piss off, witch. I ain't got time for your nonsense today. I'm busy. Uh, right, so I think we're okay. I think we're good to go. Um, I've, not, I've not got much space in my inventory, but this is only really to uh, get us up to our space station and then we can put down our... Uh, matter receiver, give it a name and then we can come back and then we can uh, walk to there as, if, as often as we like. Um, so let's go shall we? Let's go to destination station 1. Let's go. I think that's full fuel. Is it full fuel? Right, see you later Larry, wherever you are. I've got my spacesuit on by the way. I've got my spacesuit on, I've got my charge port, uh, I've got my matter receiver, I've got a power cell. Um, got my linking card. I think we're okay. I think we're good to go. And I've got my Christmas hat on as well, which is fantastic. What did you say? Lightning strike just then. Cool. Look at this. I love this. I don't think I'll ever get tired of this. And I think is that a bit of a lean? Is it leaning a little bit? I think the I think the shuttle's leaning a little bit as it's kind of coming around. I don't don't know how gravity would work with a square planet. It'd obviously be quite strange on a square planet, wouldn't it? Maybe you can leave a comment and let me know how gravity would work with a square body of uh, of, of mass. That'd be quite interesting. Right, we should transition any second now. Because uh, we're just coming up to altitude. Here we go. Nice. So let's descend straight away. Oh, look at this. We're floating majestically above... Um, Minecraftia, is it? Minecraftia? I could jump off now. I'm quite tempted to just jump off. Oh, I just realised I hadn't filled my oxygen up before we left. Uh, but I think it's going down fairly slowly anyway. I don't think it's uh, the biggest problem. Right, entry burn. Retro thrusters. Retro thrusters go. Yes. We're almost down. We're almost down. Oh, it's peaceful here. There's no lag either. Oh. I think I might live here instead. There we go. I just I just hit space. <laughs> and now we're going back up. But I think we'll run out of fuel and then go back down again. Will we? Is that what's going to happen? I hope we don't miss the space station. Oh shit. What have I done? What have I done? I can't even see if we're going to hit it. Oh. I thought it said press space to disembark. But it's shift, isn't it? What a numpty. There we go. Right, let's put some fuel back in this guy. And then uh, we can set up... Actually, we want to make sure that we um, that we take our rocket back with us, actually, don't we? Right, matter receiver there. We'll give it the name. We're going to call this uh, Space 
station five. Um, and if you get that reference, then good on you. All right, so that needs some power. Let's be very careful on here because we're on a bit of a. Uh... Now we want to go in there. That's getting power. Oh, thank God for that. All right, out on all sides. Now this should be getting power. Good, 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 good. Um, now we should. Oh, hey. Now we should be able to click on here and then go back home. Um, have we got enough fuel? Yes. All right, I'm going to blast off back to home, and I'll see you in a sec. Right, safely back home. Excellent. And loads of big smoke trail. Now let's get out of the water. But let's go and see if we can try our dialing device, actually, and see if we can get back to our space station. That would be good if we could do that, wouldn't it? Right, space station 5 is there. Excellent. Let's dial it. Beep, 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 beep. It should do. That should have done, just then, that should have done the old uh, internet modem noise. Is it going to work? Doing something. Excellent. Okie dokie. And we've got our porter. So we should be able to um, get back as well. Can we get back? Start teleportation. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so we can get to and from our space station. No problem. I need to set one of these up on the moon, but I'll do that between episodes. Um, actually, no, I won't. I'll do it in the next episode and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. That would be a much better thing to do. Um, what I'll do, actually, I will make another one of these um, matter receivers. Uh, that can go. That can get going now, actually. What's it, what's hanging? What are you missing? Ah, oh, we're short on rubber. Right, I need to set up a rubber tree farm. Yes, because I disabled my rubber tree farm that was outside. Okay, I'll do that between episodes. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, my friends. Um, I enjoyed this one. It was great fun setting up the space station. Um, and I'm looking forward to building an epic space station as well. In the sky, I'm thinking Space Odyssey um sort of rotating thing i don't know if i could do rotating things maybe that's me getting ahead of myself but there you go okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode if you have then please leave a like and a comment etc etc let me know if you liked it i'll be really appreciative of any and all feedback and criticism and advice and tips and stuff like that so i will see you guys next time